Hey, Keller Williams, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and guess what? You're going to want to hear what I am doing today. I know you're going to be excited about it. We are going to be talking about DocuSign templates. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? So what I'm going to do here, we're going to just go ahead and get started. I want you to get into rooms.docusign.com and get logged in and because we're going to jump right in. So first of all, I want you to click on the My Docs button at the top once you're logged in. Once we are here, I am going to show you how to create a template that you can apply to your documents. So we're going to click on Form Templates. And we are going to make templates for our most used documents. So the first thing I want to show you is we're going to click Create Form Template. And you're going to love the feature that we have in here. So um, we're going to use the information about brokerage services a lot. So I'm going to click on that one first. I'm going to use it. And if you're a TC and you're making templates for tons of agents, you can come up here and click this little pencil button and that's going to edit the document. And you can say, you can call this IABS and then Bren Brewer or Karen Norwood or whichever agent that you have at the time you can just put them in and then click this little check button and that saves it and you can make multiple templates of the same document for different people now I'm gonna go through here and I am going to fill this out and I'm not going to talk much because I am going to speed this up so that you guys um, can fill this along with me. So if you're doing the same thing, go ahead and pause the video and then fill this document out. The very last line of this document is your name. Your license number your in email address and your phone number. Sorry y'all, I'm working from home. That was my husband walking by. So once you've gotten that done, you've renamed your document, you're going to click save and close. And now we have our IABS Bryn Brewer and it shows that I just made it. Now, if I want to go in there and make changes, I can click edit. It brings that document back up. I can go in there and change this. When I'm done, I just click save and close. Now, the next document that we use a lot, especially in listings, is the notice of information from other sources so we're going to pull down on the group and then we are also going to do listing for sale and we're going to search for that notice notice of information from other sources i'm going to click at that click use I'm going to click edit right there and I'm going to put my name on the end and then of course the this does not change the uh, the two changes but Keller Williams the from does not change and the property address will change the date will change but what will not change is this broker obtain the information identified as so I'm going to go ahead and type all this in here. Okay, we are done with our 
notice of information from other sources. I forgot that I put my name up here. I need to click this little green box to save that. And now that I've typed this, I need to click save and close. So now we have our notice of information from other sources. Template. Let's see, where did I put it? Right here. This is the one we just did. All right. Next document that I would suggest as putting as a template would be the residential listing agreement. So, residential real estate listing agreement. So let's go ahead and create that one really quick. Okay, and I'm gonna click group, listing for sale. scroll and do the residential real estate listing agreement. Click use. Go rename this and then the seller will change on every listing agreement. What will not change is the broker and any options that you have in here That are unique to you. Now the phone number is going to be your phone number and the email is going to be your email. And this now most of this information in here will change there are a couple of things that are almost an all, almost always in here, like an owner's association. 99% of the time, the house is going to have an owner's association. You're probably going to charge the same commission 99% of the time to all your sellers. Protection period is probably going to be all the same. You're always going to get paid in Fort Bend. Now this last line is going to be your information. Don't forget to put in the license number and click this little dot next to broker associate signature and type in your name here. Once you're done, click save and close and we are on to the next document, which I do believe that is enough documents for a listing. So let's pause there and go to buyer documents now. So in our buyer documents, we're gonna do the same thing, create form template, do the group, and we're gonna do closing for your buyer. And we're also gonna come down here and we're gonna find our information about brokerage services that on the buying side. Click use. We're going to have to do this twice, one for the listing side, one for the buying side, but it'll be worth it in the long run. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to fill this out just like we did on the listing side. And then remember the last line is going to be your information, your name, your license number, your email address, your phone number. I'm done with that. I'm going to click save and close. It takes all of about one minute to input all that information in there. Now I'm done with that. I'm going to create a residential buyer tenant representation agreement. So let's come in here and look at for that. Click in it and click use. And we are going 
to again I'm going to put my name on the end of this click the little green check mark checkbox to save it and then we're gonna go through and this information is that's not gonna change ever is going to be filled out all right now that we're done make sure at the end there you put the license number check the broker associate signature and type your name in that last box click save and close and we now have our buyer representation agreement the only other thing I can think of and I think that's it that's you know you're going to need um, other than that any information you put in these templates when you add those documents to your room that information will go into your document and then it will also go into your details tab and then anything in your details tab of your room will also autofill into your documents so let's create a room and test this out we'll just say I'm on the listing side I'm gonna click Save So once I created that room, I went, <clears throat> I went right into it. I'm going to go into my Documents tab, and I'm going to click Add, DocuSign Forms, and then I'm going to do Closing, nope, I'm going to do Listing for Sale, and then you can see all these documents are our required documents, so I'm going to click on this, because I want information about broker services in there. And once I click on a document that I've created a template for, then I can pull up which template I want to use. And so you see here I have two templates for this document. So this is the one I just created. I'm going to click on that one. And then of course I want to click on information of other sources. And I'm going to use that template we just created. And I want to add these to my rooms as well because they are required and then what else I need my listing agreement which I also have a template for that I just created so I think you know that's about all I'm gonna add selected I said my templates had conflicting data but I think that's because DocuSign has mapped some of the fields incorrectly so let's go in there and see what happened so I prioritize my IABS as number one. And so that came back. So I'm going to save and close. And I applied all my templates already. Let's see what information about your sources. But it changed it to Gale. Sure enough. Save and close. Probably changed my information about broker services when I did that. And that is a mapping issue that I need to get with DocuSign on. Yes, it did. Well, I'm going to save and close that. I need to write this down. Give me one second. So I've written down those mapping issues. I will be getting with DocuSign or Lorraine and getting those taken care of. If you do um, add documents to your room and you forget to add the template, you can right click on the document and then click and click apply form template and then the templates come up. You can select which one you want to use and then click apply. That's it for today's DocuSign video on templates. I hope this helped. Go out, make some templates, make your life easier. And I hope this was helpful for you. Talk to you soon. If you want more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.